everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and today I wanna to share with you my Bath and Body Work haul. This is for the Halloween body care that was previewed on Friday. I did make an order online Friday, but all this is now available in store right now. There isn't a sale currently going on, like a really good sale. So I would recommend waiting it out, but I did do the buy three, get three plus 20% off, which isn't the best deal, but I really, I did want to do an online order because I really wanted Wicked Vanilla Woods. This is my first time owning this. I do, I believe it came out not last year, but the year before. And a lot of people talked about how much they liked it. And I love vanilla. So I'm very excited. Um, so let's talk about the packaging. It does have the lid, the same as Luminous or like the Wedding Collection. Um, there's something else, something else that has this lid too. I did, this lid isn't too hard to take off. I know um, the one in the Wedding Collection, I believe it was hard to take off, but I do like the lid and I like the special touch to it. And you do, down here, it has like that blue, it kind of looks like lace and it has like a tree branch and it looks like it has like a bird and kind of looks like a tomato, I don't know. And then up here it has the jeweled and it's a snake um, with the jewels. Bath and Body Works really has a lot of snake um, items for Halloween this year. I'm not crazy about snakes. Um, but yeah, that's what it has. So the scent notes are magical vanilla, glowing amber wood, and enchanted pink pepper. And it says, both thrilling and chilling, venture into the enchanted dark forest if you dare. And I do really like this. It's like an elevated, um, perfumey vanilla. Kind of? kind of reminds me of Viva Vanilla that we see in the luxury collection. And this one has rich plum, glowing amber, and addictive vanilla. So they both have that amber and of course the vanilla. I just want to compare it real quick because as soon as I smelled Wicked Vanilla Woods, I thought of Viva Vanilla. They are so, so similar. There's slight differences. Viva Vanilla has a little more smokiness to it, but they're very close. They're not exactly the same. I'm just happy I got this to add it to my collection because I love collecting all this, especially like the, um, the special edition, like Halloween or Christmas, all that. And then I also did pick up in Wicked Vanilla Woods is the body wash and I picked up the body lotion. I did not see a cream. Um, I just figured I would get the lotion and the body wash because I was doing an online order and I personally prefer to shop in store. I do have a lot of Bath and Body Works by me, but since this is an online exclusive, I might as well. But the Fine Fragrance Mist retails for $17.95, so unfortunately it is not reward eligible. Plastic was so hard to get off. So let's talk about the packaging for the lotion and the wash. So the body lotion is in a black packaging and it has like the blue touches to it. It looks like it has the same lace pattern in the background. And it looks, it looks like a tomato or like a fruit. Like maybe like they're trying to go for Adam and Eve with the snake and the, maybe it's supposed to be an apple. Just want to try the lotion, nice bright white color. And I feel like in the lotion, I don't get a lot of the vanilla. Actually, I get a lot of that pink pepper. When I think of pink pepper, I think of Glossy AU. <laughs> Definitely doesn't smell that strong in the lotion. And then the body wash has, it has that like yellow green color. Very, It kind of reminds me of the blueberry one that just came out the same color and it has the tree and the snake. So yeah, let me smell it in the bottle. In the bottle, I feel like I get more vanilla in the wash, but they kind of seem light. Like the lotion and the wash seem light in Wicked Vanilla Woods. 
I will have to try that all out tonight to see how I feel. I'll definitely keep you guys updated. And the next one, which is new this year, this is a new scent, is Candy Apple Cauldron with that green color, bright green, and it has the same lid and it does have like that lace, but it looks like, um, kind of hard to see, kind of looks like uh, skulls with a design. And then you ha do have the jewels and you have a hand right here holding a snake and then the evil eye. My daughter told me a long time ago, I don't know how true this is, but um, you're not supposed to buy an evil eye for yourself. You're supposed to buy it to give to someone else and it's supposed to be like a protection against evil. But yeah, I don't know how true that is, but that's what she told me. But the notes are mysterious green apple, simmering sugar and crystallized bergamot. And it says something is brewing, embrace your inner magic with this bubbling concoction. And it's like a sour green apple, like a perfume vibe. I heard somebody describe it as a floral. I don't get floral in here. Maybe a little bit, but it's mostly that sour green apple. I like it, I like, I think it's good. And it's kind of clean, maybe that bergamot. I think that bergamot's like um, giving it that like perfumey, like clean, that freshness. So yeah, I like this. I think this is a good one. And the next one, the third one, is Ghoul Friend, which this is the first time it's brought, oh, you've been released in full size body care. We have seen Ghoul Friend for years, like in, it has came in travel size and like candles, soaps, pocket backs, um, all kinds of forms, but never full size body care. So this is very exciting. I know a lot of people are very happy and I love the color, the, like that purple and it has the lace. Um, and I do see like a skull on the lace and you do have the jewels. There's like a beetle, a beetle on here and then there's that little like, what is it? A pendant or brooch of the girl, but she's a skeleton. <laughs> um, it's cute. And then the notes in here are dark strawberries, ghostly peony and spine chilling citrus. And it says haunted houses and scary movies. Have a chilling good time with your ghoul friends. This is, this is cute. I just love, I love Ghoul Friend. I, I always liked it. I remember when I smelt it years ago, um, my friend had it and I just thought it was so good. It's super sweet. It's almost like juvenile, um, but I don't care. I think it's so good. Somebody described it as smelling like grapes and I could so see that. It's like a fruity floral and it's just so good. I love this. I'm going to so enjoy this this year. And in Ghoul Friend, I decided to pick up their Shimmering Fizz Body Lotion. I've never tried these. I have seen these and heard about these. Um, I, can't, I forgot to tell you the prices, but this one's $18.95. This one does have shimmer in it. And we'll try it out. We'll try it. So it's like a mousse. So come, it looks like a mousse, like a hair mousse, and it definitely sparkles, like crackles. Yeah, that's interesting. It crackles. It feels a little oily, and it smells great. And you do have that fine shimmer. I don't know if you could see it. Let me put some on my arm. That's so cool. That would be a fun gift because it's such a unique product and it does leave like a slight shimmer. Um, I think it's pretty. I don't think it's too much, but keep them like if you guys don't like shimmer in your body care, keep that in mind. I highly recommend testing it out in stores, see if it's something you would like, but it's a cool product. It'd be fun gift, like to kids, if you have young kids who are into this stuff, I think it's fun. 
So that is everything I picked up. I picked up six items, but they are releasing, um, again, Vampire Blood. This is my last year's packaging from 2023. This one has new packaging, similar to the other ones with like the jewels and the lace. Um, but in case you never picked up Vampire Blood, this one has notes of red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. And it says the night is frightful and the moon shines bright. Celebrate the spooky, the spooky season with this haunting fruity delight. And Vampire Blood, I feel like is a, definitely a fan favorite. It must have sold great for them to bring it out again this year. And it's just like a sweet berry, almost candy-like but it has like more like dark berries, I would say. Perfect fall, well, any time of the year, honestly, you can wear this whenever you want, but I feel like it's darker berries, so it makes me think of fall. And they did come out with laundry soap this year in Vampire Blood, and I'm very curious to hear what people think about that. But yeah, that is the collection. That's the body care collection for this year. If you guys smell any of these, let us know down below what your thoughts are. I do know a lot of, um, of my friends on here commented that they're waiting for a better sale, which I do not blame you because um, the Bath & Body Works does sales all the time and they always drop like their prices, they'll do like $5.95, or I remember last year they even dropped the um, Fine Fragrance Mist $4.25, it just depends, um, but they, they do it all the time. So I would just wait it out so you guys could get a better deal. And um, I was also told that Fall One will be releasing on the 28th, I believe, July 28th, or is either 28th or the 29th so I'm super excited about that too and when that launches I'll definitely be picking up everything that I don't already own but that is it guys thank you guys so much for watching are you guys excited for Halloween and let me know which one if you smelt these or which one you're interested in getting I would love to know and I'll see you guys later all right bye